So, Glenn, here we are in Fink, and you made it. Yeah, it was a bit of a struggle. It was a bit touch and go there for a while, but, um, yeah, we had a few dramas, but we're here, ready to go back tomorrow. Now, it looks like they've been doing quite a bit of work on the car, and I saw the front diff was sitting in the back of the truck before. Yeah, it's like the rebuild you have when you don't really want to have a rebuild. So, we uh, about 70 k's down, the front diff started to go, and that stayed together till 110 kilometres. And it, it actually seemed a bit worse than that, um, so we pulled over to stop just to check and see what it was we well, we knew what it was but we thought maybe one of the drive shafts had come out and it was still in there so it was get back in the car and finish it in two-wheel drive so and it had a couple of close calls as well so it was just after the second close call it was like let's just make sure we get to the finish so so now it's new diff new drive shafts front and rear so there's a fair bit going on and when you do lose a front diff i'm assuming you just pull it into two-wheel drive yeah it is it, it, Yes, that is all you do, but it takes a bit to get back up, that confidence to, you can still hit the whoops in two-wheel drive in these things because they're not as fast as a big truck, so, but um, it was also very hard, the, the ground, like it's still damp, so there's a fairly big risk when you go to two-wheel drive of breaking another drive shaft, so that was the main thing we were looking after. And dust was a bit of an issue when you came past us, there was quite a bit of dust. Yeah, the first 40 k's was just thick dust so yeah you know sometimes doing 30 40 kilometers now because you just could not see um pace notes help but but uh, i don't know how much that helped anybody else or hurt anybody else but it was pretty dangerous out there at times we passed a few crash cars in the dust and that so yeah dust is a problem and i believe also there was a bit of traffic too yeah lots of traffic coming through on us especially after we had a drama but um, we let them pass pretty well but there's obviously fast guys behind us that were always going to pass us anyway but most of them were pretty good today. And other than the diff and, and any other issues with the with the car? No, nah, no nah, we were good or maybe me not so good, Dale was really good on the notes, it's just uh, it's a tough call just to ride those big whoops and that's what I struggle with and that's what broke the diff. And they're doing some work on the back of the car, I'm assuming all of this is just precautionary. Uh, rear, the rear is new drive shafts, so two of both rear drive shafts are bent, plus they've had a fair bit of load on them for the last 110 k's in two wheel drive, so best to change them out. And what's the plan for tomorrow? Uh, just start like we did today, just treat it like another day. Um, the times are, end up getting accumulated together, so um, you know, bad time today, but a good time tomorrow can sort that out. Yeah, it's been an interesting day. Um, there, was, there was a nice breeze this morning when we were doing the driver's briefing at six o'clock and, and waiting for the start. There was a lovely breeze down in Alice, and as soon as we lined up to start, it stopped for some reason. Um, and I think. I don't know if it was luck or whatever it was, but the guy in front of us was taking it pretty easy at the start, probably trying to protect drive shafts or whatever, and we had horrible dust for the first 20 odd kilometres. Um, it's quite a white, sandy sort of surface um, through that start section, and we couldn't really see anything. So, you know, you trust your pace notes as much as you can, but it's a bit hard with the, with the whoops and dips when you can't see where you're going. So yeah, pretty tricky start. Uh, it all came clean once we hit the beautiful red red sands and soil up here, um, started to get a bit of a rhythm on and, and, until we hit our problems. So uh, yeah, quite challenging. I think yeah, the times seem to be fairly similar to last year and I think as far as track evolution and stuff, um, I would suggest it's probably about the same as it was last year. But a lot of places, certainly towards this end, are getting very, very rough. So I think, uh, yeah, we're gonna be in for a very challenging run home, but that's why we come here. So see how we go. Now, I think you told me you had 190 pages of pace notes. How was all those pace notes? Uh, there was 119, but it felt like I read 190. Yeah, there's there's a lot going on. It is very, very busy. Uh, and obviously we're getting faster in, in these cars and, and you know, certainly since we came in the D-Max on the first attempt. So yeah, there's a lot of information there, but you need it. Otherwise you just get caught out by things. So um, yeah, we push on as as best we can um, but yeah it's very challenging to read notes in in this sort of terrain but uh, yeah I think we did a fairly good job. Having the diff go does that sort of dampen the spirits in the car or does it? Uh, look uh, probably more me than Glenn and you know I'm, I'm one of the most competitive people you'll meet but you know I also know that these are long events so yeah, we weren't going to win it by you know, pushing on and, and taking major risks and things like that. That wasn't the aim, but it is, you know, you do feel quite frustrated when those things happen. And, and obviously, just the nature of you know, being so competitive when something like that happens, it feels like you're losing 10, 10 times as much 
is what you're actually losing. So, um, yeah, you just try and get that out of your mind. And for me, I had a nice book to read in front of me, so it wasn't too bad.